we're recording for Dan. We'll send it over to him. So, um, gentlemen, congratulations. Really, really impressive performance against a tough Dan yep. squad coach. You know, just lead us off here with your, your general thoughts on the game. I probably don't even have stats yet. So, yeah, I do. I do. Oh, uh, okay, great. Yeah, you know what? We've, we've been a really um, – We've been a good team all year. We've had really good balance. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys contribute. Uh, we don't go really deep in our lineup, um, but the six guys that play majority of the minutes have really started to play well together probably around early January, and it really shows up in crunch time, shows up during the middle of the game. They made a really good run in the beginning of the second half. I thought we really weathered the storm. I think it was Elijah that hit a shot, maybe a, two, a pull up jumper to kind of stem that tide. And then, um, you know, it was just really hard to handle Cisco. I thought we did a good job on him with bringing two to the ball. They made a couple of good threes out of the traps. But uh, overall, really, um, really thought our guys did a great job with uh, just staying with it and, and winning a really hard nosed tough game, a very physical game as well. Coach, we were just talking about, you know, obviously a young group, only one senior, that right. kind of six man rotation. And every time they threw a hook, they yep. had a jab to counter. Yeah, I, I think that does happen when you have uh, a short rotation, I'll be honest with you. you get, guys get comfortable playing with each other. Um, you know, they've kind of gone through these things throughout the year. Uh, Elijah's been a really good at scoring the ball, so it's not surprising that he's the one that kind of stemmed the tide early in that second half. But, uh, yeah, uh, young group, but as far as task relevant maturity, very high. Uh, they played a lot of basketball, and they played a lot together. So, um, you know, uh, very true, but sometimes helps us when we play, uh, you know, just a short rotation. Helps me, I know that. Uh, Chris, idea that you know the big block on that, that defensive possession at the end. Did you get a sense that they might attack you uh, on that trip, or, or you know just sort of in the right place at the right time? Uh, I mean, I knew they had. I think it was less than ten, so I knew they were going to try to attack some way, somehow. So my guy just brought it up. You know, <coughs> back uh, defense. Everyone was talking, so we just drove, and I was just kind of there, just made the right play. And Elijah, you guys had, had a, a little thing in the first half that looked like we were just trying to sort of get him into the game. Is that, yeah. is that what that was? Yeah, we were just trying to get into the game. Like, we knew we had to win this game. Like, Damon's a good team, so we just had to stay with it and just try to win the game. Elijah, um, I believe you hit the go-ahead layup um, in the closing segment yeah. a minute ago. Um, can you tell us about that play, getting around your man, seeing daylight and taking it in. Yeah, I think Coach saw that how the defense was playing, so he called that play out, and then it, it worked. Um, the help wasn't there. I, Cisco wasn't even looking, so I just went right up. Were you surprised with that open? Yeah, I was, because he was just looking the other way, so it was a free layup. It's a good call by Coach. Thanks, Elijah. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you mentioned Cisco, obviously, you know, a very talented player for them, and Felizor and Larcher when they were in there, just, you know, a very physical game, and obviously right. had to get very physical with him. It seemed to bother him a little bit. Yeah, Kessie Felizor is one of the most competitive players I've ever coached. I've ever seen. I've been doing this for 20 years, and uh, his I mean, when people come watch us play, the first person they notice, regardless of stat sheet, is his intensity, how hard he plays, his competitive nature. I saw him in high school go against a kid going to UConn, and he was playing the same exact way, and he's about 20 pounds uh, lighter. Uh, but, yeah, they both did a great job. We did bring two to the ball. We thought it was important to not to just leave him on an island. We came off the ball off the pass. They did burn us for a couple threes um, late in the game. They, they made two threes off that one pass. But overall, I, I, it gave him a different look. Uh, you know, he doesn't have a ton of assists on the year. A lot of times he's trying to split the double. He's trying to get it up on the rim. Uh, so we were just trying to get it out of his hands. He's just a really, you know, he's a big, big kid, uh, and he's just really difficult to handle one-on-one. -on -one. They did a great job competing, but other guys really, you know, did a good job of just bringing two to the ball and, and making it at least get out of his hands. When we talked earlier this week, you had mentioned that you were very happy with the way, not just the group had gelled, sort of that six-man rotation, but the way the offense especially had become so much more efficient. I think probably middle of the year, yeah. you guys were maybe middle of the pack in the league, and all of a sudden, at the end of the season, you're top three in terms of field yeah. goal efficiency. What has been sort of the key to that change? Good, just good players, good players, right? Offense is good players. You have guys that can make plays, guys that can make shots. Elijah was a good scorer before he came to New Haven. That's why we recruited him. Um, obviously, now that he's three years in, he's even better. That's a tribute to him and all the other guys. But if you're going to be a good offensive team, you need guys who can have skills to put the ball in the basket. Um, I, we've had other teams that haven't been as good. We've had to be really good defensively. I think the th key for us is we're always trying to be in the top five in offensive and defensive efficiency. Right now in our league, we're fourth 
in offense, we're third in defense. To me, that's uh, that that makes you a really really difficult team to stop and a really difficult team to score on. So, but really, offense. Um, I'd love to say it's play calls. Thanks, Elijah. <laughs> but really, good players. I mean, you have to have good players to make shots, and that's that's what we do. And they play really well together, and I think they kind of have a feel for each other's game, and it's uh, it's just worked really well. What does it mean for um, the program? New Haven hasn't won an NCAA tournament game in a very long time. 2012-13, that was with us. Oh, right, right. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah, that's true. Jeremy Williams was a senior right. that year. Right. Jeff Atkins, Eric Anderson, Justin Exum. Yep. Yeah. No, no, we beat Dominican in the first round, the 4-5 game. Um, beat Dominican. Right. 2012-13 at Southern New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Right. So, so I'm, we've I'm, been I'm, here I'm before. Off. Off. Okay. We went in 2013-14. We want to be here every year. That's right. everyone's goal. We have a good enough team and good players to get us back. But we've only won, I think, Dan can manage this, this is only our third win in the first round. Now, the, the one was a, a consolation game. So this is only the third time we've advanced in over 55 years. Um, and that's pretty impressive, I think, for this group to do. So what my follow-up question would be, with that knowledge now, um, to beat St. A's tomorrow. We have to play again tomorrow? Yep. Now, I, have <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it was it's tomorrow, too? The okay. regular season game, I know, was not that competitive here. Um, right. What I know you're not the same team as you were back right. then. Uh, what is it going to take to beat St. A's on the, on the home court, court tomorrow? Yeah, we have to have the same defensive mentality. We have to get back in transition. We have to have a real physical presence in the paint. We have to make multiple efforts. Um, really, we have to just continue what we've been doing here the last three months. Um, I didn't think they played well against us when we were here either, yet they, they did beat us pretty handily. But I expect our guys to be ready. Um, we'll probably play a few more bodies tomorrow just because of the physical toll uh, that this game took on our guys. But really, we, you know, we didn't do a good job of handling the ball in the second half. You've got to cut down our turnovers, and then we just have to make things very, very difficult for them to score in the half court, which I think we've been pretty good at thus far this year. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're better than that. Come I'm on.